Okay, as I said in the Tomahawk video, I have a uh, new product here. But I have a comment first on the Cold Steel Master Tanto Challenge, or whoever that was that wrote the article saying the Master Tanto was nothing more than a sharpened pry bar. And then Cold Steel went and proved that the tips were about the same, piercing was about the same, and then once they got to defensive fighting the snap cut, I love how the Mark II from Gerber didn't even go through the uh, theme, go through the cloth, and the traditional Tanto didn't go through the cloth. It was only the Master Tanto that was making decent cuts, and he was hitting a lot lighter. Then once he started hitting, it was right into the table. And then once they did tip strength, well, the traditional Tanto, I believe it bent and broke. The Mark II bent and broke. And the Master Tanto went right into the steel. So, if you want a good knife, Cold Steel is where you go. Sadly, I did not go to Cold Steel this time. The one I wanted from Cold Steel was not in yet. It still sold out. I went to Spydeco, and what I needed is I needed a knife for hiking and camping, one I didn't want to carry, the Hawk with me. So I got myself a Spydeco Woodsman from Jerry Holzman, or the Jerry Holzman Spydeco Woodsman, I don't know, it's Italian steel. It's very nice. We'll talk about the sheath later. There we are. It is N690CO Italy. Cherry Wholesome Design. I love it. It's great for woods. Uh, I haven't had it as long as the Hawk. I only bought it halfway through the summer. So it is still Uh, maybe if I wasn't all sweaty. Uh, it's got some. But it's beautiful. I love it. I can come up here for detail work. Back here. Back here. I love it back here. I can chop about the same size branch with this as I do with the tomahawk with in maybe an extra two swings. I do have the lanyard on it. I love it. Carries great how I have it now. I haven't tried throwing it. I haven't wanted to yet. Uh, as you can tell, this finish is really nice. I polish it after every time I take it hiking. I've been taking care of this one. It's... Uh, I can't think of the bloody word. Scaling is really nice. It doesn't really help much with grip, but the shape does. It just locks right there in your hand, however you want to hold it. One thing you do have to be careful of is that is sharp right there. Uh, the first day I had it, I started playing with it. I came up here and I nicked myself real deep. So when transforming over to that grip, watch out. And as I was saying earlier about the Master Tantos and the stabbing, uh, this doesn't really have a cross guard on it. It has a great hilt. But I wouldn't want to stab too hard on if I don't know what I'm going to be hitting. But I didn't buy this knife for a defense knife. It's a woods knife. It's a camping, hiking. If I don't want to carry the axe with me, if I don't have my bag with me, and I just want to have something with me at all times, this is a nice knife. It's not too big, but the size and the width of the blade 
just gives it a nice heft to it. It's nicely balanced right there. I love it. I'm probably going to get a lot of good uses out of this. Now, let's go to the one negative part of the knife. And I'll just do that a couple more times. Blinding the camera. Blinding the camera. I love it. But let's get to the negative. And it's not so much of a negative anymore. Now, you people out there who already own one of these are wondering where the hell did I get this? Because it doesn't come with it. That's right, it's zap strapped on there. This is the only clip they give you. This I cannibalized from my OSS, Cold Steel OSS. I still haven't been carrying it, so I said, screw it, I'll use it on my Woodsman. It's been working great. These are just dollar store zap straps. I didn't take this off because I don't want to lose it. But the reason why I'm not using this is because, well, is because when you have your belt in there and the knife is in it, this is where the balance point is on the knife. And this sheath does not make up for the weight, especially where that clip is, so it's top heavy. And when you're walking up a mountain, you're nice doing this on your belt. If you have it there. It's top heavy, it's going around. Now yes, I could probably have it any direction I want. And the only direction I could come up with was to wear it like that across my waist. And I didn't want to do that. So, I take this, hook it up to my side. Come on. There we go. And it doesn't move. Back and forth, doesn't move. Stays on my hip, lies straight. I don't have to worry about it. It's there when I need it. The positive retention is there. But it's not too strong. It was really strong when I first got it, but I've been carrying it, and it's hot out, day out today, so it's probably sucked up some sun and got warm. But yeah, it's a really nice knife. I love it. I would say, yes, it's a great woodsman knife, and yes, go buy it. If you're not w wanting to carry it on your side, or you have another idea of how to carry it on your side, without you know, I cannibalize this from a cold steel knife. If you find something that you can use like that, it's a great knife to carry. If not, it's good to lash onto a pack or if you're willing to carry it across your belly or sideways on your back. But even if sideways, it's still going to be one side heavy. So they really need to figure out something to do with this other than that clip. Like it's great on some of the smaller knives and on the friend pin knives because they're small little knives that are meant to be carried all day long sideways on your belt and no one will ever know them they're there. This is not. This is an outdoors hiking woodsman knife. They need to come up with some kind of... Spidical needs to come up with something like this. Have it attached. It's a much easier carry. You know? unless you want to have your knife in your pack where you can't get to it when you need it. So you got to take off your pack, grab your knife, cut your way through the bush, put back, put your knife back in the pack, put you... too much work. So I just cannibalized that from my OSS. It's working great. I love it. So that's the, cold, the Spydeco Woodsman. Very wholesome design. I love it. Nice solid thick piece of steel, full tang. Mecca? 
think that's the handle material or something like that. Mecca or materia. I can't think of it. I'm going to go home, read it, and go, oh, right. So if you're looking for a good woodsman knife, you got something to fix the sheath, I'd say go for it. It's great. I love it. And I got this at Warriors and Wonders, $124.99. Vancouver. Cambian 17th, if you're around. He doesn't ship to the U.S., but he's got better prices than anybody else in Canada. So, with shipping, it might be about the same as in Toronto or whatnot, but, you know, when Cold Steel says a tie light is $69.99, he's got it on for $59.99 Canadian. Wow. So that's the uh, Spyderco Woodsman. Love it. It's on my side when I'm hiking. Thanks for your time.